you know, uh, of course, Maria was our project director when she did extraordinary work. I think we were very lucky, uh, Maria, uh, to 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 work here. Yeah, I mean, to to have you with us, okay? Because you you could convince you could convince anybody, you know. <laughs> Anyway, this is a really fantastic job you're doing your work. You're going to stay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Daniel Fumerio. Uh, I'm a chemist by trade and by some sort of fate and luck. I was uh, Minister of Education, Research, Use and Sports in the Romanian government. And, uh, there is a saying that says that intelligent people talk about concepts, normal people speak about facts, and stupid people speak about the others. So everybody here before spoke about concepts, because of course they're also scientists, great people. So I'll try to be average, and from time to time I'll be stupid, so I'll speak about facts and also about some people. So, first of all, uh, let me tell you, I was extremely lucky to become Minister of Education, Research, Youth and Sports in the Romanian government, straight from my research laboratory in, at the Technical University in Munich. And one of the first things in January 2010, one of the first thoughts I had as a minister was to meet Java, the 14th of January 2010. He visited Bucharest and there were already some trade units in front of the ministry screaming things against me. Java was uh, in my office and we had something to eat and we ate. And it was a very good starting point for Ellie, but it was a very inspiring thing for me as well, because exactly nine months later, my son was born. So, uh, thank you, Jela. Right. Um, now, I will try to tell you a few funny facts. Um, so that maybe, you know, before, just before I had the coffee or the, the cocktail, hopefully the ambassador will be here, we will all be going there uh, with a bit of a laugh. But those, um, maybe you want to switch that off. It looked very intelligent to talk about lasers, petawatts, explaining that you can have very intense light for a short period of time, and all of a sudden they thought, hmm, maybe this guy understands what he's talking about. So, it was the only subject where the government actually listened to what I had to say. Second fact which I find funny is how luck helped Ellie. Where are our friends from Hungary? Oh, there you are. So, what you should know about Romanian politics is that there is a, a Hungarian minority party, part of the government, and usually you have to deal with them so that you can get major things going to the government. In 2010, September, I opened the new university year in a Hungarian university in Kirkmuj, and I learned half of my speech in Hungarian. All I remember is Ishla <laughs> Bofaila, Bokozo Meni Nenfajen. Which essentially means when I go to school, my legs hurt, when I come back, everything is fine. So, because I had that speech half in Hungarian, our uh, coalition partners, the Hungarian Minority Party, thought, wow, this guy is really cool, so we are going to support what he wants. And they actually ended up supporting the reallocation of funds for Ellie. So, that was the second point that really provided a very strong, and this, this is serious. These are true things, right? This was a really strong support for Ellie at the political level. Third thing that's funny is how firing somebody can help that person and also can help the project. Here is Adrian. When I became minister, Adrian Kurat was secretary of state for research. 
One of the first things said, did I fire me? Why? Because we passed through a very difficult political time. It was the crisis, it was the financial crisis, and it was absolutely clear that our government would not survive for long. And if our government was not going to survive for long, and the death of our government would find Adrian as Secretary of State, he will be fired and nobody will ever, you know, his expertise would not be used. Therefore, I created a very big and very strong research agency. And the first thing I do after I fired him, I nominated him while he won the competition to become the head of that agency. And that ensured the fact that Adrian was involved in this project all along. And I dare say that without his contribution, I'm very skeptical that Romania would have succeeded into uh, going that far. Uh, now, let me tell you two other funny facts. Can I still do it? Or? Yeah, okay, let me tell you two other funny facts. One is uh, how enemies can actually help you big time. I, when I entered politics, my very first speech in Romanian politics was against that guy there. He was Minister of Education, Mr. Adam Mitze. I was from a different party, and my party told me, shoot that guy. Now, I kind of like him, I didn't have anything personal against him, and I was a bit, you know, ashamed to say bad things about him. Nevertheless, you know, ah, I found a few things that he was wrong. But, Christian, what he did, he was the very first to start the discussions in his mandate about the Romanian pillars of hell. Now, a much more important contribution that he had was that after the death of our government, the new government that was going to come had no idea about that. Zero. They didn't know how to eat that. Sandwich, dessert, breakfast. But he convinced the government that followed us that it's important to follow Ellie, even if it was, you know, uh, some scientific project they didn't understand about. So this is a very good example in Romania, where again, luck was that for some reason we went along well together, so that it ensured some continuity from a government to another, a very, very difficult thing to do, and crucial for such an important project. Now, the last, point, last thing that I believe is funny, is how press reacted to that. In, at the end of 2011, we finally succeeded to reallocate funds from other projects because our coalition partners agreed that that is important. So we finally succeeded to reallocate money, European money, towards the Ellie project. I was very happy. I gave a press conference. I thought, you know, that was going to be on the headlines. I was going to be the new star of Romania, you know, developing this. Nobody cared. But there was one guy that asked the following question. One journalist asked the following question. Mr. Minister, we are going through a very deep economic crisis. Is the laser going to help us cut salami there? <laughs> now, it was one of the very few you know, moments in my public life when I was perplexed. I was angry sometimes, I was happy sometimes, but that time I was really perplexed. Are you going to use the laser to cut salami thinner so that everybody can have a slice? That was the only question that Price asked me. Now, I will conclude by speaking seriously and saying that uh, the success of Ellie in Romania is the result of very, very thorough, very competent work that was done at the, let's say, um, non-political level by uh, Mr. Zamfir, and I'm extremely proud that my signature is on uh, the nomination of Mr. Zamfir as the, uh, pro the, you know, the, the leader of the Ally project in Romania. Um, Adrian Kuraj, that was a really, really, you know, good idea to fire him from a political position and to get to put him um, in its crucial uh, head of the agency position. But of course, later became minister. And um, okay, <laughs> not the yeah, PI, not political government. Uh, and also the head of the, the Secretary of State, which unfortunately is not present here, Dragos Kupalov, also did a very, very important uh, work. It's very important that uh, the personal relation I had with the Christian Amunice, although we were from different political parties, it could ensure the continuity at the political um, level. Of course, it was very important that. Uh, Mr. Anakescu, that is here, was also part of the uh, technical part uh, at the beginning. 
And I will conclude by saying that, from my perspective, this early project in Romania is really because les astres se sont alignés. Mm -hmm. Les planètes se sont alignés. The, the, the planets aligned. It was part design, but we must say now it's true to say that there's also a bit of luck. The things went very well. A lot of work, a lot of very tough moments. And uh, I just hope that this is, this is only the beginning of a very long friendship. And we want to, I want to officially ask Gerard that he invites us at the Nobel ceremony when and if this shall happen. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you, everybody. And uh, let's hope really that this is, as I said, the beginning of a very long um, friendship. Thank you.